So if there are no red flags at the point of arrest, or if they've been ruled out or managed by the paramedics or ED, what should happen next? Okay, the individual will be taken to uh, the designated place of safety, where there will be a, a handover between and a discussion uh, between the police officer and the psychiatric nurse, and some decisions made about the management of that person from that point on, and we'll see a, a scene now that sets that out. All right, there, are you, buddy? Coffers? Yeah, yeah, you're all right. Nothing to worry about. Everything's absolutely fine. Are you all right, are you? Yeah, coffers. Hey, you feeling okay? Aren't you the same? Yeah, do they make you the same? They do, we're just a bit the same, aren't we? Have you got a name, have you? I should look all you. I'm Charlie. Charlie, nice to meet you, Charlie. I'm PC Cross. How are you doing today? Are you feeling all right? Chris and Cross. Yeah, you having, you having a common print machine there? Are you? I can see uh, there's a code. There's a code. Right, okay, yeah. And the lights flashing in sequence and show you the code. Right, okay, how's that going? Is that alright? Yeah. Yeah, have you been shaking the machine about and stuff like that? You've been on it for quite no, a while? No, just is, it, oh, is it working okay, is it? Just playing the machine. Enjoying the... Enjoying the... the there's a code behind the... There's a code that they've put into the machine. Right, oh, okay. So if you'd like to come with us... You're going to come with us, Charlie? Yeah, we're going to make you safe. You're going to come with us, Charlie. Come with us, Charlie. You know, you're just, like, just going to take you and take you somewhere nice. Just, you know, I'm just going to put your hands behind your back a little bit. It's not going to hurt. It's not going to hurt or anything. It's just to make sure that everyone's safe. Yeah? 21777 to control. Quick an ambulance, please, to the social club. We've got one mile for a 136 mental health. Okay, there we go. So we've got a call to Queen's Ridge in Ed Edgbaston to uh, a disturbance by the looks of things. Okay. Alright, just relax. Okay. Deep breaths. Yeah, the landlord called us here. This man kicking off. We've yeah. arrested him under 136 the mental health back. He's calmed down now. He's alright. Can you take him? We can. We'll yeah, have a look sure. in the back and we'll go from there. Alright, swim it up. Relax. That's it. Pop him up onto the stretcher for us, guys. Here you go. Just mind your step on the way down. There's that one. Um, essentially, we're, we're quite happy that Charles, there's, there's no underlying medical condition there, there's nothing we've picked up with our observations, but uh, obviously because uh, you've put him under 136, mm -hmm. then uh, obviously it's uh, a transport to a place of safety. Yeah, so if your colleague's going to stay in there with yeah. my colleague, um, I assume you're going to follow behind. Yeah, he'll stand in the van and I'll follow you down there. Excellent, Brilliant. okay. Thank you very much. Thanks. Take care. No worries. We'll get you up and get you in, get you in. Okay, that's so so In your own right. time. Come on then. Pull us hand down there, sweetheart. Just mind your step. Okay. We're just going up here. Okay. Alright. How are you doing alright? Doing alright there. My name's Steve, I'm one of the nurses here. Nice to meet you, Steve. I'm James, or Peace and Cross. Hi, James. Alright, um, yeah, I've got this guy, Charlie. Just had to uh, arrest him, unfortunately. He was, uh, he was in a pub and he's been a bit abusive. Um, I think he might have mental health issues. He's, uh, he's calmed down a lot now. He's, he's, you know, he's quite, quite, you know, he's happy to come with us and everything. He was uh, talking to the fruit machine. It wasn't turned on. And he was saying he could see a code in there, and he was talking to him. Um, but like I say, he's calmed down now. We brought him into you guys and uh, see what you can do. Okay. Um, how's he presenting, James? What's, what's, is there any self harm? Is um, he, has he caused any injury to anybody else? No, he's not injured himself either. He was just being a bit threatening. Um, I say he was sort of uh, pacing up and down and things and shouting at the snaff. Um, but he was pretty much fixated with his fruit machine and the fact it wasn't turned on caused a bit of alarm with us. Um, so we thought, say, we could, you know, get you guys okay. so He's been quite settled. Yeah, he's, he's calmed down a lot now. He come with us, quite happy. He was, um, the, the paramedics brought him in and he was happy to go along with their tests. So. Okay. So where is he now at the moment? He's just outside with another officer. Um, he's just having a chat and talking to him. Okay, so what do you plan on doing? I um, was well, hoping we could leave him here as he's nice and calm, if that's all right. So, I mean, the thing is, Jen, we've checked, I've checked on my system oh, and, okay. and um, Charlie is known. I don't know if you know about, we've got the um, risk assessment tool and, and I've sort of done, done our assessment and, and put it on with the police um, right. risk assessment tool. Which sort of indicates that we would probably put him in about medium risk. Right, okay. Jen, because he's got a previous history of assaulting NHS staff. Right. So rather than leaving him, are you okay to wait around? It might not be appropriate that you sit in, in the interview um, whilst I'm having an mm -hmm. assessment with Charlie, but maybe if you wait outside possibly. Absolutely, yeah, if you, uh, if you need us to stay. Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah. Should we bring him in then? Yeah, I'll just go and get him for you. So, thank you. Okay, Michael, so how do we identify whether the police should stay following the handover to the psychiatric service? 
well, the, the protocol for the place of safety outlines a process that categorises every service user as being low, medium or high risk. If the service user is high risk, then it's absolutely necessary for the police to stay at the place of safety to support the psychiatric staff during the assessment, either until the assessment's concluded or until the risk reduces. If the service user is agreed to be low risk, then it's anticipated that after the handover period, which should last no more than an hour, the police officers should withdraw and the detention of that person is then owned and managed by the mental health professionals. If the patient's medium risk, then it's actually just a, a touch more vague, but this is quite deliberate. It's a matter for the professionals present to decide whether it's necessary for the police to stay. And someone may be medium risk, for example, because they, there's some element of their past that indicates they might be violent. And it might be that because they're currently calm and compliant and, and placid, that mental health professionals are happy to take over the management of that person. It may be their medium risk because their current behaviour is more challenging or resistant and it's necessary then and there for the police to stay. Mm. But if that agreement can't be reached between the police officers and the mental health professionals in the place of safety, then mental health professionals in our local protocol have got the right to insist that the police stay to assist and support, but the police officers have got the right to determine what that level of support should be. Okay. So Michael, what happens if the uh, nursing staff and or the police officer don't agree with the decision or the outcome of the risk assessment? Well, in, in, in principle, if it can't be resolved between the arresting officer and the receiving nurse, um, each of those professionals should contact their supervisor, so the police duty sergeant and the place of safety manager or on-call manager would attempt to resolve the issues. If that doesn't lead to an agreed level of support, then the police are obligated to stay at the place of safety on the insistence of the psychiatric professionals and the fact that there was a dispute that couldn't be resolved would be referred to the, the local group that would iron out the difficulties in how the place of safety should work because we need to accept that we're not all going to agree all of the time about what should happen and that's, that's bound to occur. Okay, and that's the multi-agency group that's responsible for overseeing the place of safety protocol? Yeah. Hello. Here's doctor. I'm one of the nurses here, Charlie. Grab a seat there for me and uh, we'll have a chat. Do you want a drink, Charlie? Would you like a No, I'm alright. Right. I'm alright thanks. I'll have okay. one in a minute. So. Do these not do these need to be here, these two? Um why and what's what's are you not happy for them to be? Well present? they cuffed me, they've hurt my hands and I I don't want them to be here really. Okay. Do you mind just waiting, like waiting outside yeah, the room? Fine, Is that okay? I'll no give problem. you a shout if yeah. there's any. Super, thank you. So how are you doing, Charlie? I'm not complaining about that. 